What if Cody Rhodes was never released? We're all asking ourselves this question. Maybe not, maybe, maybe it's just me because I have seen this online and uh, now I'm wondering. Actually, I have thought about this from the moment he came back to the company because for some reason I totally forgot he was ever in the company. So today we're gonna talk about what ifs uh, and what nots. So, uh, for the people who don't know, probably a lot of you you know, but I want to say that Cody Rhodes was w he was in WWE way back. Like he was in Legacy with Randy Orton. They're around the same age. Cody is a little bit younger, and basically Cody Rhodes, Ted DiBiase Jr. and Cody uh, and Rome and Randy Orton were in the same group, and they were labeled Legacy, and they were basically seen like the next big thing at least when I was a kid in my eyes they were seen like the best next thing you know kind of situation so after that Cody Rhodes is going through some phases like the dashing Cody Rhodes Stardust and all of these clown gimmicks that are not seeing very good and after that he's getting released or he leaves the WWE it doesn't really matter he goes on the indies he makes a name for himself he wins bajillion championships and all of that stuff with young bucks and Kenny Omega he opens up AEW and also with the financial help with Tony Khan and uh, AEW is born and AEW today, right now, is not an actual competitor to WWE, but at some point they were. So, um, because they were, I guess Vince at some point was like, okay, I'm gonna fly to Cody Rhodes and I'm gonna offer him a job at WWE to come back, you know? And now we're having the Cody that we have today, which is basically the face of WWE. So what if Cody Rhodes was never released? Was he able to fit into that babyface spot right off the bat like he is now? Uh, would uh, he fit that babyface spot, face of the company spot way earlier? Or maybe he would never hit that face spot because the company never saw him as a real competitor, saw him as a real face, as the real entertainer as he is? What ifs? Uh, in my opinion, uh, you can type in the comments what you actually think, but in my opinion, when I was a kid and I was watching Cody Rhodes in WWE, I was seeing kind of the same energy as Randy Orton when he was young. So, in my point of view, I think that WWE, with the time, they would have seen Cody Rhodes with the abilities that he needs in order to become face, and I believe even that he would become the face even earlier. Maybe even Daniel Bryan wouldn't be a face if Cody Rhodes was actually there. That kind of situation. But maybe I'm wrong because uh, we can see, as I said, that WWE gave awful gimmicks to Cody Rhodes, like Stardust, like Dashing Cody Rhodes. And even though he kind of made them work, they kind of see him as a comedy act. So I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we're going into a situation of our truth. Maybe they will see Cody Rhodes as his brother, Stardust, who never went into the main event picture. But on a contrary, everyone knows Gold Dust. Even though he was not ever in the main event picture, I believe he was never a WWE champion or a heavyweight champion, but everyone knows Goldust. I knew him from a kid, I know him now, I admire Goldust and everyone actually admires Goldust. So yeah, uh, nonetheless I believe that whether he was the face of WWE or not, he would be a name in WWE, just like his father, Dusty Rhodes. Everyone knows him and everyone admires him. Not me though. I, I don't remember his father wrestling ever, never seen him. Right now I understand that he was big back in the day, but uh, that's just now, like 20 years later. So yeah, that's my opinion. 
leave a like, share, subscribe. I'm streaming every day on Twitch on Angelo with double L. And uh, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.